Hello folks, welcome back. I am the one, the only. I'm a scruffy looking Hobo Tom. And it's Friday. So as you can tell by the little upload thing, it's a red, well, well it actually was a bubble. Because I celebrated my first paycheck. Yes. From my new job, so I had a little bit of a bubble. And I wish everything was happy. Um, let me get some of the happy stuff out first. Then we'll go. Then we'll do the sandwich effect. Happy, eh, happy. So the happy stuff. Uh, let's see here. The Azo one. I don't even know who you are. Thank you very much, though. I think we were talking about different types of beverages to drink. Uh, he mentioned the gamer juice of Gatorade and vodka. And I said, go old school, kid. Go jolt soda. And so that's pretty cool. But you, sir, always went by six count. And then, unfortunately, a sad note. Um, I know it's been reported all. Uh, Shad, um, I forget his last name, Gus Gusparda, I think. Uh, he passed away in, in a just weird freak accident. I guess in California and Venice Beach, he got swept out by a riptide. That's a, I, don't, I know they have riptides here in Florida, but for the most part, you can actually see them. And the key with a riptide is you just go with it. You, you don't, you, first of all, you never fight riptides. You kind of go out with it because the riptide actually takes you out. You just kind of want to use that momentum and go to the right or left, and then eventually you, you will escape the riptide. I don't know. I'm sorry. So. This little tribute goes out to him.
other people have met him. I think he was wrestling with Crime Time, like 2010 ish. Oh, uh, yes. I wasn't paying that much attention to pro wrestling. It, it kind of. To me, pro wrestling dipped a little bit around that time. I think that was like right after. I know one of the reasons why I stopped watching pro wrestling. It was pretty cool to see Braun panties and matches. But when you're inundated with it so much, it lost that special feeling. How a bra and panties match could ever lose a special feeling is, is amazing. But I think you get so much of it because I think it was um, that. Again, when it first showed up, HLA was pretty cool. But then it's like. Again and again. Or still pretty cool. Again. And then you're like you're you're almost like half expecting it. So when it doesn't show up, you're like, oh. Okay. Blip. And I think that was also when it came out with Sci Friday. So that was really good. On the science fiction channel. That was I think the fact that there was so much offered on TV, you're like, do I want to watch bad pro wrestling or good entertainment? And I think this was also a little bit towards the end, like the Hogan era on Impact, and it's just like, yeah. But enough about that. So again, I did my little tribute. My soul feels better. But let's talk about some SmackDown. Oh, wow. Good job, SmackDown. The past couple of SmackDowns have been miserable. This is a marked return to the way SmackDown used to be. Uh, they did a little Memorial Day tribute. That's good. I do my Memorial Day tribute really on Memorial Day. Because that's when you'll see me. I do have my Memorial Day celebration. I eat hot dogs, french fries. Or hot, hot dogs, onion rings. And root beer rum. And then I also have the Daytona Daytona Beach Memorial Day Madness. Which I have to make that graphic for. Shoot. <laughs> that generally my graphics include scantily clad women, American flags, and fireworks. What's more American than that? Besides maybe the American Dream. Oh wait, that's a spoiler for what's gonna happen for what you what you'll see on Monday for the Daytona Beach Bond Fight League. Um also before I do get to Smack oh I'll mention this later. I'll actually mention that later, so that's okay. Starts off uh Braun Strowman on Miss TV. Braun just invites himself to Miss TV. If I was seven foot three hundred pounds universal champion, I'd invite myself to anything I wanted to either. Or, uh, yeah, the same. And then, so Miz and Morrison are, like, confused. Um, talk about Bray Wyatt a little bit, and then Morrison <laughs> codes talk Miz into having a match. And Miz is like, what? I don't want to do this. What the heck are you talking about? He has a, like, look like that deer in headlights, like. Uh... No. So our first match starts off, I guess with a tribute. Again, my only complaint, I'm like, oh, it's going to be another long show. Because I think I managed, by the time 8 o'clock came on, I figured out which Woot channel. Oh, I already did that. Was going to have SmackDown. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. So it's going to be good or really bad. We'll see. But, uh, so figuring that out, going through the, um, yeah, tribute from Memorial Day. I took a shower, and I'll tell you what, my pizza was about half done through this match, so I timed things out right. That's about 
Uh, the Miz taking on Braun Strowman. I like the fact that the wrestlers, at least on SmackDown, have figured out they need to talk to the camera. They need to trash talk. They need to shout. They need to grunt, groan, do whatever to get some volume into that big, empty place known as a performance center. So that's a good thing. Again, the Miz also does the good trash talking. And, of course, Morrison's there for his moral support. Uh, so Miz, he starts off as hit uh, hit run, whoop, and then and then run away, whoop, run away, whoop, until of course Braun Strowman figured this out and get and and Braun gets these hands on Morrison and then it's just clubbing blows and tossing Morrison and the shoulder tackles. Oh um, yeah, that's later. Uh, Miz, he does get the slingshot, double axe handle. Classic. Oh, I love I love old school wrestling moves. That's gonna bump this match up a lot. In fact I might even bump no, I won't. That's okay. Um then he does the eye rake, the drop kick to the knee. So Miz is smart. He's doing all the heel things to get the big man off his feet. However, he did not get that short DT because Braun could easily pick him up and then did some like ugly suplex after a beal. That was a weird... He just, like, kind of picked him off, flung him. It's like, ah. Oh. Oops. And then there was... He did the running power slam. Braun Strowman wins. He looks strong. Um, whenever Backlash is, sometime in June, I have to figure out when that is. I have no clue. Uh, I just know it's in June sometime. Don't think it's the first week in June. That would be weird if it was. But... Whenever that is, they're going to have a handicap match for the Universal Champion. I'm actually intrigued by this. Oh, by the way, this match, that was a good cheeseburger match. Which is rare. I like the way SmackDown started off. And then we have AJ Styles taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm like, oh... Please be a decent match. This actually was. They finally figured out how to do AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura right. Now, my only complaint, I wanted to see this go a little bit longer. If they had another 10 minutes, then I'd be really happy. But still, overall, I, I really shouldn't complain that much because this was a good match. It was classic wrestling. A good technical stuff for the two to start off. It was a very, again, New Japanish slow start. A very building start. They just weren't stalking each other, though. They were trading moves. A lot of counter-wrestling. That was really good. Um, AJ Styles did the double throat chop. Harking back to his days as, as the bullet club is for life. Too sweet, me bro. Baby! Adam Cole, baby! Adam Cole, baby! Adam Cole, baby! Adam Cole, baby, 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 baby. Still one of the best entrances. Ooh, I, do, I do have to set that up too, see how that looks. Ooh, new setup. I want to see how that looks too. Again, still one of the best entrance music. It's just Adam Cole, baby, repeating his name forever. That's good. Uh, so, again, that was pretty cool. And then they start to trade elbows. Again, very New Japan style. It's good to see that. Um, then, oh, Shinsuke hit that sliding, hanging, belly-to-back suplex on AJ Styles. How Shinsuke Nakamura has figured out how, how to do these things is amazing. He... He just adds that little twist to it. I mean, we see him do the sliding German suplex outside the ring. Now AJ's hang, hung himself up on the second rope. He, he does that from that position. Good stuff. Then they were on the outside for a little bit. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura again has those kicks. Ooh, those New Japan. I don't care if they just hit your chest. Those New Japan strong style kicks still look vicious. AJ Styles is a GTS neck breaker and then into a calf crusher. Shinsuke Nakamura and Mishinoku Driver. Poor AJ Styles. This was good. I'm like, 
uh-oh, is WWE actually let them going to do a neck-breaking competition? We'll see. Uh, and then it was a Kinshasa to a roll-up to a triangle to a modified Styles Clash. Again, just the chain wrestling, the counters, the the action involved. It just wasn't one move, eh. another move. Eh. They were wrestling. It felt good. And then AJ Styles went after a phenomenal forearm. AJ Styles advances. I can't complain. Again, I can't complain. And actually, this was good. This is a surf and turf match. Then we have, woo, Charlotte Flair taking on Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Ooh, ah, I want to know, would you be my girl? Actually, no one sings that song anymore since she went to heel. Because right now she just looks like a Romulan villain. I don't know. I'll still say that till the very end. Uh, for the most part, this was okay. Charlotte, for the most part, beats up Bailey in the first part. Bailey tried a dirty pin attempt. Oh, this is heel Bailey we're talking about. And there was no Sasha Banks at ringside. Sasha was in the back. Very oddly looking. I'll, I'll probably be oddly looking at the screen too. So I'll probably be there on the couch watching AEW up there while having watch party over there and food. So you get to watch me and my friends eat, drink, and probably ramble on about a whole bunch of wrestling. Should be interesting. So I hope. I wonder how powerful the speaker is on this little thing. We're going to find out tomorrow. That's going to be interesting. Again, trying new stuff, trying to be more technically advanced. Now they have this job. I might just shell out that money and get that new laptop soon, too. I have to think about it. I have to, I have to wait until Best Buy fully opens because I have to research stuff. So that would be pretty cool. Wow. So much stuff I have to think about. But that's okay. And then do I want to get a monitor and it's just trusty computer? I have no then I have to get all new programs. Oh so much stuff to think about. Okay, it hurt to have a laptop though. I don't know. Uh where where was I? Um then Charlotte got on mic. Hey Sasha! Get down here so I can beat you up too. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's wait a second. I can actually mimic that. Let's see here. Uh oh, something fell. The heck fell. Oh, okay. So yeah, she, she said she took the headphones and said, "Hey Sasha, get over here so I can beat you up too." That was pretty cool. That was different. Um, and then Charlotte was in control for a little bit. Bailey eventually didn't make her comeback. Did the Macho elbow, as you can tell by my Macho Man t-shirt. My classic, because Macho Man has some good t-shirts. Got my first Macho Man t-shirts. Still one of the best in classics. Uh, then Bailey yells at Michael Cole. And I'll tell you what, they were slapping the, 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 the blood out of each other. Because I think Charlotte got a little busted lip, baby. Charlotte bleeding, just like an old man does. One day, Charlotte Flair has to bleed like an old man did. It'll just be a bloody old crimson mask. And then maybe I'll have much more respect for Charlotte, because I think we were just de de debating in Discord, and I said, yeah, Charlotte's cute from the waist down. From the waist up, from the waist up Charlotte Flair's a mess. That's okay. So at least you got a busted old lip. The fat lip baby. She likes to get slapped too. And then Bailey won by dirty pin, by a dirty roll up. So again, this was actually so Bailey won. Gee, it was a cheeseburger match too. I mean, WWE figured out something. Again, maybe the fact that Charlotte's yelling and screaming so much. And then, oh, Mandy Rose fell victim. 
Um, but we'll get to that. And then in the back, yeah, Sasha gives Bailey a hug. I just want to see Sasha and Bailey make out. Just get it over with WWE. Just get it out of your system. So then we had Sonya Deville and, and Boo! Sonya Deville! Boo! Oh, 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 wait, should I boo her for what she did? I, I'm torn. I, I don't know if I should boo her because she's Sonya Deville or, 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 or cheer her because of Oh. Boo! So I can't bring myself to boo Sonya Deville this time. Boo Sonya Deville. I guess it's almost out of my system. But it was boo Sonya Deville and Dolph Ziggler. You know what? Sonya Deville's always going to get booed. Boo Sonya Deville. I give more. I'll give more credit to Mandy. Uh, but it was Sonya Deville and Dolph Ziggler taking on Mandy Rose and Otis. Otis! Otis is like, I want Dolph! It's like, kill! Kill, Otis! Kill! Kill! Uh, so it's Otis and Dolph. Um, Otis is too big for Dolph's pathetic single leg takedown attempt. Um, eventually, Dolph gets beat up a little bit, but then Dolph's smart. He tags in Sonya, so uh, Mandy Rose has to get in. Uh, Sonya beats up Mandy Rose a little bit until Mandy Rose says, Luthor's press! And then Otis tries to, he, he just wants to kill it all. Uh, he needs some steps. Uh, Mandy got, got rolled up for a little bit. Um, Otis, again, was on the outside because Mandy Rose trying to console Otis, and, and he's like, no, no, you have to go in there. And Oh, was Otis cursing? Because I know the stream wasn't good, but there was one, like, blanked out spot. Like, they were talking, like, you hear Otis talk. Because, first of all, Otis is great in these empty rings, empty arena matches, because he's always talking, Yeah, Mandy! Tucky, 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 Tucky! Punch him, Tucky! Punch him for me, Tucky! Oh, Mandy, yeah, Mandy! Ah! So he's creating these empty arena matches. He's creating any match, I think. But um, I don't know what happens. And Mandy Rose got hit by a running knee. Oh, she hit a pretty good running knee. And somewhere, I think this happened because they were trading chin locks. And Sonya Deville said, my bad. And I'm like... Wait a second. And then I did a very quick rewind. And I'm like, oh! Oh! Oh, yes. Yes, it finally happened. Mandy Rose came out of her little... Oh, and by the way, Mandy looks like Trailer Park Trash Florida Meth Girl now. Boo! Boo Mandy Rose? Yeah, but yeah, something slipped out of Mandy Rose. We saw a little bit more of Mandy Rose than we should have. Because, yeah, she had the infamous nip slip come out. I guess, see, Mandy, that's what you get for being Florida meth trailer park trash girl. Because actually, I actually had to figure out how to describe the outfit. Sonya's looking cuter for some reason. She wears that um, little high cut bathing suit with like pants that like exposes her hips. And I'll tell you what, she has womanly hips. She has like round hips, which is what I which is what I prefer. I don't like seeing bony pelvicy hips on women. That's disgusting. But but Sonia has like a little curve on her. Um, so I don't know. I have to think about if I'm gonna boost Sonia Deville anymore though. But yeah, Mandy looks like Florida. Meth house trailer park trash coming out in like a, a jean bikini, a little mini jean, like shoulder cover, and like, yeah, the less than Daisy Dukes. I'll tell you what, they're lucky it covers up taint. That's all I can say about those less than Daisy Dukes. It's like it's like journeys less than dress code. 
But um, yeah. So then, yeah. So that happened because it's like, well, well, why did Sonya say my bad? And then I realized I'm like, oh, wait a second. Yeah, something popped up for a split second. That cheeky Mandy Rose. Yay, Sonya Deville. For causing that in a chin lock? That's a weird, it's a weird, it's like a weird thing. She's not going to be wearing that outfit long time. I don't know. Whenever I see that, I just have like, I don't know. I just think Florida meth park trailer park trash. Trailer trash. It's not a good look for Mandy Rose. The gold spanning bikini. That's a good look for Mandy Rose. Not like trailer park trash. Because that's go down the street and see that. Um, what else about this match? Yep, Otis came and got the hot tag. He splashes like Dolph four times in the corner. However, he makes a tag to Sonya. Sonya delivers the shiniest wizard to the back of Mandy Rose's head. And, and, and she picks up the win. One, two, three. Also because Otis is being held back by Dolph. Otis went to go check on Mandy Rose to make sure her, her boobies were still in, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But uh, uh, then he eats a super kick. So I'll tell you what. This is another good quality match. It's a cheeseburger match. And finally, we had Jeff Hardy taking on Sheamus. Um, Sheamus just beat up Jeff Hardy. He also talked, too. I think that was the big difference in the show, is that they were talking, and they were loud, and, and they were vocalizing stuff. That's good stuff. Oh, I got to print that out, too, tomorrow. I have a lot to do still tonight and tomorrow. But, yeah, so with this, Hardy gets beat up. He gets tossed on top of a table. Uh, Sheamus, for the most part, dominates the smash. Uh, Hardy did did hit the whisper in the win. However, Sheamus hit three Irish Kurt Chris backbreakers in a row um, until Hardy's comeback started. Sheamus posted his shoulder not once, well, he did it once inside the ring, but then he did it a second time outside the ring. Uh, again. Jeff Hardy hit the uh, again the the double leg drop to the gut to the, to the groin, which is what what it might as well be. He went for a swan tongue, but Sheamus got the knees up, tried the roll up, no, didn't happen. Uh, Sheamus the one went for the bro kick to finish off Jeff Hardy. No, he got stack. He got a, a high stack, it's high stack for the three count. Jeff Hardy advances to the tournament, so it's going to be Daniel Bryan taking on Jeff Hardy next week. That's going to be. Fun. I'll tell you what. That could be a 20 minute match. AJ Styles versus Eli should be uh, like the typical 8 minute match. Again, this was another good match. I was shocked. A cheeseburger match. I'll tell you what. I was surprised because my expectations for this SmackDown were, were terrible. No, literally, like, they were terrible. That was a really good cheeseburger of a show. There, I, I'd say if I could put any qualifiers on it, it would be a bacon cheeseburger show. So a little bit about what, hap was, what should be happening tomorrow and into the week. So tomorrow, there may be a live, there may be a watch party. All the friends on my friend, if he brings over his laptop, because I can, I do not, I'm terrified to use that, because that is actually not my property, and and I might get a, why well, you, you're fired, from my employer, so that would not be good. I do have to remind Jorge about that. Um, then Sunday I'm off. Monday's going to be a double show. Uh, I'm going to try and post as early as I can. The Memorial Day Madness, which I'm going to make, make the, the image for shortly, or probably tomorrow or Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. And then it's going to be, of course, uh, Memorial Day Raw. Tuesday, again, I was 
frantic and trying to get stuff up. Tuesday, I'm going to do again my live stream. I have my new image up for that, my new thumbnail up for that. Wednesday is going to be an AEW review. Thursday, I'm off. Uh, Friday's Friday Night SmackDown. Then I'm off Saturday, too. I'm happy about that. So that's pretty cool. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, I should be on live streaming tomorrow, but about 8 o'clock. I have to get, I need to get stuff done now. So I'll see everyone hopefully tomorrow. If not, I'll put up a review. 80% sure I'll be able to do that. If something screwy happens, I'll figure something out. I'll see everyone later. Bye.